Hi, I'm Ken from Okazan Shiitake. I've taken about four months to explaining how to grow shiitake mushrooms. Thank you to everyone who has watched and studied. Let's pick good shiitake mushrooms this fall. Promise. And this time, we will look back on the omnibus and summary of the video series so far. What you learned once can be learned again in 40% of the time when you first started in 20 minutes, but it'll take 80% in 30 days. We mean the part is that you've forgotten about what you've been up to, right? We often study by watching videos of business YouTubers, but we forgot about half of them soon. So let's review the whole thing again. If you already know everything in your brain, please close this video. As usual, we'll explain with multiple videos, and at the end we'll upload the omnibus. So if you watch only that, you can get a rough idea of all the information explained so far. If you're here for the first time, it's nice timing. We'll quickly review all the past videos, so we hope you'll stay tuned. What we are going to explain from now on are our own cultivation methods. You may think, that doesn't fit with my ideas. But we will be grateful if we could incorporate it as a new sense of value. In addition, we will explain on the assumption that you are almost a beginner. It is our personal opinion, not a general theory, and a not perfect English. So please take them at your own risk. The first one is a summary video about how beginners start shiitake cultivation. Let's check. At the summary of this series of videos, I told you that there are 6 main points for cultivating low-grown shiitake mushrooms. But at first, you have to prepare what you need for the cultivation. The best log is oak duck, Quercus serrata, Quercus crispilla, and Quercus actissima. Do you remember the word? If it is a deciduous broadleaf tree, shiitake will basically come out. And if you are tired of everything, just buy an inoculated log. The shape of spawn is roughly divided into three types, bimbo, sawdust, dowel. Furthermore, it depends on the spawn companies and the type of spawn, so please find the one you like. The sealing materials for spawn are mainly beeswax and styrofoam plugs. Please choose either one or both that you like based on each characteristics. To drill holes, Drill bit and electric drilling machine are needed. We introduce the spiral bit and with stopper, shiitake drilling machine, it's only in Japan, and shiitake drilling machine. The first things you need are lugs, spawn, spawn sealing, and drill bit. The most important of them is lugs, the mother of shiitake mushrooms, and children of shiitake spawn. These two have their own characteristics. So please choose the three species and shiitake spawn that suit your cultivation environment. We've introduced various sealing materials and machines for inoculation, but we think that it is okay to use thimble spawn at first because it can be inoculated by hand. For details, please watch the video How Beginners Start Shiitake Cultivation from the link that appears when you press the title. The second is a summary video about easy inoculation work for beginners. Here you go. This time we talked about inoculation season, preparation, and inoculation. It may have been difficult for beginners to understand, but when you actually try it, you will understand. I see, this is what they say. So please refer to it. Let's review. The inoculation basically should be done from January to March. Early inoculation is good, but late inoculation in April or May may result in adequate mycelium surroundings. As for the preparation, choose the log species, spawn types, sea length, and drop it that suits your favorite shiitake mushrooms. We explained that if the logs are dry, it should be soaked a week ago and the sawdust spawn should be taken out of the bottle and destroyed in advance. In the Okta style inoculation, we explained that we would make 60 holes in staggered pattern, but I also told you that the condition can be changed as you like. We also explained about the inoculation tools, so if you are interested in them, please take a look at the website from the description below. For other inoculation, the thimble spawn needs drilling with a 12.7mm drill bit, and you can insert the spawn by your hand. 
Melt the beeswax in electric pan set at 130 degrees Celsius and apply it to the spawn with the applicator. For double spawn, you may make holes with an 8mm drill bit or hammer to punch. Use for item for nucleation were fix bar, chopper and small chainsaw, slide stand, and air duster. Those are essential items for efficient integration. Finally, as for the management situation after integration, if you keep these four things, no wind, lower temperature, enough oxygen, and darkness, you can reproduce the barn and get off to the great start. The most important thing in this video is the time of inoculation. Of course, it depends on the area, but basically the best season is from January to March. We want to inoculate during this period as much as possible. After that, preparation is essential for good inoculation. Do not ignore it as it will save your time in inoculation. If you are well prepared, we also explained our inoculation method and other methods. For more detail, please watch Easy Inoculation Work for Beginners in the description that appears when you press the title. The third one is a summary video about very easy way to grow spawn. Here you go. This time I explained in a little more detail about the post inoculation. No matter how carefully we explain it, you can't really get it. One try is worth a thousand words. After inoculation, first incubation is to stack inoculated logs like firewood without space to avoid drying and coldness. It can be stacked vertical or horizontal either way. In case of sawdust spawn, it is essential to moisturize by covering with a plastic sheet. There are four conditions for the first incubation for sawdust spawn. No wind, low temperature, enough oxygen, and darkness. The first one is no wind. Logs and spawn dry out as soon as wind hits them. Keep in mind that never dry out the spawn even if you die. The second one is low temperature. At a temperature of around 5 degrees Celsius, shiitake mycerium grow little by little while mold and other harmful fungi hardly grow. If this period is longer, the spread rate of mycerium will increase dramatically. The third is enough oxygen. Oxygen is required by almost all living things, mushrooms as well. So don't leave this plastic sheet covered, but roll it up sometimes to ventilate. And the last one, darkness. This is like an option to improve the growth of spawn. But if you want to find out, why not give it a try? A burn meets these four conditions. Why don't you try to manage the logs with the conditions like burn? If you have a real barn, you can manage them any as it is. Thimble and double spawn can be covered with plastic sheet in a dry place like soda spawn, but it seems that plastic sheet is not necessary when managing in the forest. The most important points of this time is creating a burn environment. No wind, low temperature, enough oxygen, darkness. Make sure these four are cleared and create a burn environment. The period from inoculation to the first incubation is the most important part of all the cultivation of lock-grown shiitake mushrooms. Do not let them get dry or harmful fungi. For details, please watch the omnibus Very Easy Way to Grow Spawn from the crumb that appears by pressing the title. The fourth is a summary video about the way of log arrangement. Here we go. Summary, after the first incubation, move to the second incubation. In one word, it is making a room between logs. Let's make it well ventilated and supply oxygen. There are Bulgario inquinans and Libertula as indicator of moisture and the dryness of logs. Bulgaria inquinans shows that logs have water and Libertula shows that logs are a little dry. And I'm sorry, I forgot to tell that in the previous video. The time of second incubation is from May to June, but as an index, it is time to rearrange logs when the mycerium covers about half of the log ends. We also explained that if the number of harmful fungi such as trichoderma increases, it will become a pandemic unless it shifts to the second incubation. As a method of laying down, we manage logs in a frame with a garter stacking. In case of managing 
in locks in the forest, tree, armor, and centipede. Please use them properly according to the environment and climate. Lastly, in order to prevent the growth of mycelium from being biased, turn it upside down. It's worth remembering that you can save time if you do it when you switch from the first to the second incubation. The part of this time is to open the gap between lungs to improve ventilation. Any arrangement will be okay as long as it is breathable and not too dry. This is a stage to store the locks until autumn. Technically, there is a way to store nutrition while summer, but you don't need to be so nervous. For details, please watch the way of log arrangement from the description that appears when you press the title. The fifth is a summary video about five things to be careful about, five things to be careful during the second incubation. Let's check. This time we explained it five things to be careful during the second incubation. Let's review shortly. The first one is rainy season. If shiitake logs managed outside are exposed to long rain, the logs will drown. Let's prevent it with a shady net and device it. The second one is hot weather. In summer, the shiitake log can dry out if the temperature rises above 35 degrees Celsius for a long time. Be sure to create a shade with a shading net or sprinkle water with sprayers. The third one is Morophagoidus morioti and Nemepogon granulus. Once it appears, it is almost impossible to keep them away. Try not to increase the numbers as much as possible by using an electric shock insecticide or adhesive sheet. The fourth one is Diving Beetle. Because they live in the locks, it is very bad for shiitake spawn and mycerium. They are not many effective means, so take them away as soon as you find them. The last one is Mold and other harmful fungi. Grow shiitake mycerium faster while controlling the outbreak of trichoderma and hypoxylon truncatum. From the second year onwards, be careful of Stemonitis fasker, domes, and lacti. Do not let them spread their spores. If you know the official name of the dome, please let us know in the comment. The point of this time is protect the lugs from too much water, dryness, harmful fungi, and insects. It is the cause of death of shiitake spawn. The official name of the dome is still unknown. Please let me know if you know. We also explain in more detail how to protect the lugs from them. So please watch 5 things to be careful during the second equation from the description that appears by pressing the title. The sixth is a summary video about 5 easy steps to grow shiitake mushrooms. Here we go. This time we explain so simple 5 easy steps to grow shiitake mushrooms. Let's review together. The first step is rising shiitake logs. It was to move the logs from the place to do the second incubation to the place where shiitake fruits. If it's troublesome, you can skip it. The second step is pruning the water. It is important for making shiitake beds. Do this 3 to 7 days before soaking depending on the temperature. A quick wet is enough. The third step is soaking. Soaking is the most efficient way to supply water. Try to find the best way to suit the number of logs and the environment you have. The fourth step is fruiting shiitake mushrooms. Be careful not to dry bats come out. When you can see the gills on the back of the cat, it's ready to pick and enjoy. Or wait and pick shiitake as your favorite. The final step is post-picking management. You still can get some shiitake at the second flush. After picking, let the logs rest in suitable environment for about 45 days. After that, if you do preliminary watering and soak, you'll see some shiitake mushrooms again. As a bonus, we explained that low temperature to make shiitake mushrooms bigger, medium to high temperatures to make them thinner. And social media is the top priority. You should soak logs longer at the first soak. The part of this time is how to grow shiitake mushrooms, especially soaking. To grow shiitake mushroom artificially, it is essential to soak logs in water. Also, there is room for ingenuity in this stage. The reason is that this work is repeated throughout the year. For details, please watch 5 easy steps to grow shiitake mushrooms from the column that appears when you press the title. The final one is a summary video about points for the second or later flushes. Here you go. This time we explained about points for the second or later flashes. Let's review. 
From the second flush onwards, the amount of shiitake mushrooms decrease, but it does fruit even after the fifth flush. Once the picked holes get turned into brown like tiramisu, it is possible to come out shiitake from the hole again. In thin skinned logs, it also starts to pop out from the skin. And if there is no nutrients left in the logs, shiitake mushrooms will not grow well. We introduced Guri Guri that artificially revitalized the holes. If you are interested, please contact us. You may have 16th flush or more. And the premise is that the spawn colonized the logs well, and the environment is good. Even logs that are worn out have some rolls, fuel, logs for stack beetle, and fertilizer. Let's use them up until the very end. Shiitake mushrooms basically come out only in autumn and spring in the natural environment. Shiitake can be grown in winter, but in summer it is not recommended unless the running cost is very low or price of shiitake is very high. Alright, that's all about log grown shiitake cultivation. How was that? As a reminder, everything we've explained so far is what we do. Please always diverse and try and error. The point of this time is the difference between the first and the second or later flushes. It would be nice if they could grow in the same way every time. But that cannot be happened in shiitake cultivation. It can be not so good unless it is managed in the best way for the environment. We will explore it through ingenuity and trial and error. That is the basis. For details, please watch points for the second or later flashes from the column that appears when you press the title. Thank you for your hard work. That's all for the summary. If you think it was easy to understand, click the like button. If you have any questions, please write it down in the comment section. We'll answer it when we can. We'll continue to provide videos about mushrooms and cultivation. Thank you for watching. See you next time.